I hope you guys are doing well. So uh, this tutorial was requested by Pink Clover. I actually wanted to do uh, something similar to this from quite a while now. So I actually had to figure out a few things. But uh, basically, I took a method from CG Patrick's one tutorials. Okay, um, he only has a few videos uploaded, but they are actually really good. So do check out his channel. And I actually used one of his method and tweaked it a bit to adjust to this tutorial's needs. So um, I, this is part one of the. Uh, the next part is going to be focused on somewhat of the applications of uh, what how can wait or sort of extension of the shaders we're going to be creating. So uh, the shaders are basically uh, there are two shaders, but as you can see there are three walls because I actually wanted to show you that um, you can do the same same thing with images and textures as well. So uh, as you can see, this is how we are going to be doing it. Uh, two textures being interchange okay two materials being changed interchange and uh, this is actually a material and as well as a texture being interchanged so you can uh, do it and without actual uh, extra of uh, this light effect okay so um let's get started first of all i'm going to hide all of them go to new collection and shift a mesh gv sphere right click shade smooth shift a empty plane axis g z to move it downward GZ to move it downward and then select this uh, sphere, new material, go into shading tab by clicking over here, one to front view, and um, we're first going to be creating the uh, two materials interchanging with each other. So take the principal BSDF and change it to red or any other color you want, but make sure that it's drastic color and then shift D to duplicate it, then shift A, mesh, mix shader, okay, mix shader, and uh, plug in both of the principal BSDF into the mix shader. Now change the lower one or one of the two into any other color that you uh, think. I think blue is good. So now it's actually mixing them and turning them into uh, purple. So um, the next thing we need is Shift A, color ramp, plug in the color ramp between them, and uh, gradient texture, plug in the color into the factor. Okay, by default, it's from going from the x-axis, uh, from the negative x-axis to the positive x-axis. Okay, so you will actually understand a little bit later on. Uh, we also need a separate XYZ uh, mapping node and a texture coordinate node. So generate it into the vector, the vector into the vector, and um, the x into x. In, since by default it is uh, sort of like that. So when you actually move the color ramp, as you can see, the colors actually change. The red starts moving towards the other side, and uh, if I actually move it from on this side, then the blue moves right. Uh, blue start moving to the other side. But the problem is because uh, it's, this is sort of uh, difficult to do it, and there's also a problem that purple is still in the middle. Uh, it's in sort of a transition. So to do uh, to minimize that. We're actually uh, to control you know to control the transition better. We're actually going to be uh, using the empty empty. The empty is going to act as a controller. So change the texture coordinate from uh, object to vector, or to uh, from generated to object, and then select the empty object like this. So when I move the empty now, you can see that it actually changes. You can also ch turn it from uh, if you actually change this from um, x to y, it will also work like that. Uh, it's, it will be same for all of the materials. Okay, as you can see, it's working for Y. It can also work with Z. Why Z? If I actually move it like this, so as you can see that it actually works with Z. But the problem right now is that the purple color is still in the center. So if you actually want to remove the purple color, start moving these two up close, like like this up to the point where they're both com uh, the purple color is completely invisible. So right now this was for uh, Creating the uh, material transition. Now, when, what if we actually want to do it with textures? We actually uh, will be using the sa same node setup. The only difference is we have to do a little bit of extra steps before that. So, first things first, uh, this red principal BSDF, I'm going to disconnect it from the mix shader and then add it into the uh, result. Okay, so now all of this is not connected with the uh, output. Okay, it's only just this simple principal BSDF. And I'm going to shift A, I am image texture. Okay. Image texture and I'm going to duplicate it because I actually want it to dwell work system too. So connect the color into the color base color and open up whatever image texture you want to uh, anything. Uh, so I'll just do this one over here. So now the thing is that uh, this one is already uh, you know looking good, but supposedly if you don't if you, it wasn't looking proper, okay, like you have to UV map it. So you first have to select this one uh, this one material and then click on open. 
and then I'll just go to desktop first you have to go into the uh, UV editing tab it will be like this and then click on open then you have to go into the uh, uh, wherever you have the image and you can UV map it properly you have to do it one at a time first we'll view map this one then we're going to go back into shading tab disconnect it from over here and uh, disconnect it from the uh, uh, from the uh, result and then re reconnect it with the uh, mix shader like before it was and then this time we're going to be taking the blue one the blue principal PSCF and connecting it with the uh, surface of it, this and this blue one will also have a uh, uh, image texture with it and then we're going to click on open again for this same procedure for this one and um, I'm going to uh, uh, do it just like this and uh, I'm going to again going to UV editing and this time you, as you can see that uh, because uh, we uh, have the other uh, because we had the other uh, texture now this old one is still showing so we have to uh, we have to uh, make sure that uh, this pr is properly connected so we have to also view map it so go to view editing and uh, open and then select this texture so now we have this mapped up so now we're going to uh, now this is the, the uh, second image that we are going to be using so you uh, you will map it like the way you want it because uh, you won't uh, you won't be able to view it properly once we actually add them to the mixed shader. So we're going to go back into shading tab. Now I'm going to remove this from the result again and then going to put, uh, connect it again to the mixed shader like before, and then click the shader into this uh, surface. And as you can see, now there are two texture transitioning. Okay, so this was the second one. Now I'm also going to show you a cute little uh, cool little trick that will be useful for this you first have to need to change the blend mode from alpha blend to alpha clip and then shadow mode as well to alpha clip okay and uh, remove one of these any one of these will do I'm just going to remove the top one okay and then uh, shift a uh, transparent BSCF and connect it in place of the other one so the, this way you will get a uh, um, semi invisible material now when I move the empty GZ you can see that it's uh, turning it into visible now the applications we can use with uh, I'm going to show you a small uh, application so I'm going to change it to X over here okay and I'm going to remove the empty object I actually want another object for this to actually just show you a little bit of the uh, applications of it so click on shift A mesh um, circle R Y 90 okay and then G and X to move it on the side okay and then scale it to make it big tap to go into edit mode F tap to come out of edit mode control A to apply all transformations okay uh, I think uh, the problem is with this is that uh, the origin set into center so I'm going to tap into edit mode G and X and move it again into the uh, center uh, about here they have to come out of edit mode and then move this uh, G and X and to move it to the side. So this is sort of like a portal, okay? And um, we're going to uh, go back into the uh, shading tab, and we're going to select this circle as uh, the controller now instead of the empty. So for example, uh, because we have the transparent scene uh, enabled now, uh, when this um, sphere starts moving. Okay, uh, let me just give it a new material like uh, I don't know something simple. I guess a simple mission will do for now. So, for example, this is a portal and this is a, some character. Okay, and it's, it starts moving G and X start moving to a side, and it will give the illusion that it's uh, going into a portal and disappearing it. Okay, uh, you have to do a little bit of tweaking. For example, as you can see that uh, it, uh, it, is, uh, it, started, it starts disappearing before the uh, so, uh, before this it reaches the circle so I'm going to select this go into shading one to front view and oh, I think I have the uh, yeah okay so let me just go in this way so we have to adjust these to make it more uh, about over here you have to adjust this to make it more uh, appropriate like this for the transparent one Okay, so now it actually gives us the proper illusion that it's actually going inside the portal and disappearing. In reality, it just uh, has a transparent shader, and this portal is the uh, controller. So we have a lot of other. Um, uh, I have another one uh, application, but that one's actually a little bit of bigger. So that's why I'm going to create a separate tutorial part two, basically for it. It will probably have a different name. So now I'm just going to uh, create the last, uh, the last one, uh, the last one. I'm just going to delete it because we don't need it. I'm going to go back into shading, click this, and um, 
put these guys back into the center and instead of this uh, let's revert everything back to normal and I'm just going to select the empty G's that to move it downward now we're going to actually think, uh, create the last one the uh, one where it is actually has the emission effect so for that the first thing uh, I actually just change this back to everything with the old one so that we have the normal transition going on so right now the transition is going to be uh, transition is going to be uh, like uh, so GZ to move it. Now it's, it has a texture on the other upper side, it has a material on the lower side and I'm going to add the uh, you know emission effect in the center. So let's just make it a little bit more neater by deleting the unnecessary nodes. Okay, so from the same node setup, click the mix shader, shift D to duplicate it. Plug in the um, this mix shader into the uh, lower part of this mix shader. The color ramp into the uh, upper uh, defector of this as well, this mix shader as, as well, and um, remove this principal BSCF. Okay, this is the second material, and plug it in over here on the upper part of the uh, mix shader of the second second mix shader, the upper one, and add in an emission shader in the center over here and you also have to uh, flip these two make the black part go over here and make the light part go over here and may, may change the emission strength to about like 100 or 200 because we're going to be needing it and uh, now finally we're going to plug in this mix shader in here and you can see that we have the emission pack now when I move the uh, empty you can see that it moves along with it uh, I can also change the emission color to um, anything like yellow green exactly exact, exact, anything color you want mm, let's just go with yellow for now because it is noticeable you can also do the same thing about uh, the xyz axis over here as well I can change this to y and the effect will be on y I can go into the default like x and the effect is going to be in the x axis like so so let's just go back to um, z and I'm going, I am going to do a part two of it, and I'll just show you this you no know, setup more clearly because this one is sort of more complex than the other one. So let's go back into shader editor, and this is the node setup. So over here at this part, you can plug in any sort of complex or weird looking uh, uh, setup of nodes, and th uh, this it will be same. Uh, it will be same for the principal PSG. If you can create some some weird uh, weird type of node setup, and the end result should just plug in to this part, and this end result should be plugged into this part, and the emission is going to be the intermediate. For example, if I actually just um, let's just say add in some complex some complex sort of. Uh, Shader like uh, mix um, noise texture and um, now this complex setup. As long as the complex setup's end result is plugged into the correct place, it will still look good. Yeah, as you can see, this is the result of the. Uh, if we just add in a light so you can see this properly this is the end result of the, uh, that wind setup I created so basically as long as you uh, plug in the uh, proper plugins to the right right place okay uh, one texture or materials to this part the other to this part and the emission should be over here so I'm just going to show you one last time so that um, you can actually understand it I'll just move this one of your shaders materials or whatever should be plugged in to where this principal bscf is the other should be plugged into wherever uh, other, other setup other color texture where you want, to, you want to switch it out should be plugged in over here and then this uh, mission shader should be in the center over here color ramp into the settings gradient texture separate xyz mapping node color ramp and the uh, texture coordinate should be uh, the controller okay so i hope you guys learned something today please leave a like and uh, i hope to see you in the second part of this uh, tutorial the second part is going to be somewhat of an application and an extension of this tutorial so um, it should uh, i hope so it, it expresses you enough that you can um, follow me and subscribe to my channel so please leave a like and subscribe to our channel uh, i'll see you next time goodbye